So this is our second test with content server playing REST services and uh, uh, content script back the REST services. So uh, in, for this second test, we have transformed our playground application in a Chrome application. So what's was pretty easy to to, to transform this uh, Angular JS application in a in a Chrome application. So the the the, the most part of the code is pretty the same of the playground that we have published a few weeks ago and uh, there are very few differences that we have to, to manage in order to, to transform it in a, in a Chrome application. Chrome application is in my opinion a, an, an, a very interesting opportunity because it allows you to have full control over the kind of user experience you are delivering and for this test we also um, try to integrate other uh, REST services provider. So uh, we have implemented, let me say, a lightweight uh, integration between Google Drive and the content server. So basically, the, the integration is performed using this um, application as a bridge and keeping the synchronization information on both sides on content server in a table and on Google Drive uh, directly uh, as properties of uh, of the file uh, specific for for this for this integration so uh, the first time you execute the the application is going to ask you for a few configuration parameters so the first one is the valid content script endpoint the second one is uh, uh, an id uh, a google fold, a google drive folder id and the third one is a content server folder so being a desktop application, we, we can use it uh, to drag and drop files directly from the application on content server or from the application on, on Drive or on the two systems at the same time. So it is a really a nice, a nice feature. So the, the application itself is basically being implemented, as I told you, uh, using our REST uh, playground as a as a front end and as a back end, uh, we have this uh, uh, content script REST service. As you might know, um, content script REST services are basically REST services that are exposed the same way uh, standard content server REST services are exposed, but they are implemented using a, um, a single script, a content script. And what we, th this script is basically, is, is very short, so it's 130 lines of code and allows us to, to perform uh, several interesting uh, operations. So the first one is uh, fetching the first 100 documents uh, from content server, building a query programmatically. So this code is basically creating a query uh, for, uh, for documents on content server and is going to execute it. So if we have a look at here, so I have to provide valid content server credentials and the system in this moment is executing my REST services and this is the result so the first 100 documents and the interesting uh, aspect is that we can pass also a parameter to filter using a full text search as part of this search query so if I enter a valid term something like release I will be able to filter my my result set using again uh, standard content server uh, search service um, proxied by uh, this content script so this is a, a quite an interesting features and we also in an enhanced the, the information from content server nodes with the um, information about the synchronization with google drive so we have we keep the information about the integration with Google Drive in a table that is managed by a form, a standard content server form, and on top of this form we have built a very simple dashboard that allows us to keep track of the um, different documents that have been uploaded on Google Drive. So if we go back to the application, I can I have the possibility to upload a document that is on content server directly on Drive with a single click. So copy the, 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 the content as it is without any changes and this document is now on uh, is, has been registered in our synchronization table so I can see that this document has been uploaded on Google Drive by this user 
and we also have the document available obviously on Google Drive and we can open it directly from Drive uh, using the link in the application and we also have the script allows us also to perform another kind of uh, synchronization so a more secure one and so basically the, the system is going to this content script is going to create a new document from the, the one that we have selected and is going to apply a watermark on it with information about the current user and the, the current date uh, in which this document has been synchronized on, on Drive. So using this second button, we are able to upload the document on uh, Google Drive. And this time the document will, has been uploaded with the watermark on it. And if we open the same document on Content Server, we can see that we have no watermark at all. So the document has been added before, just before um, upload the, the, the content on, uh, on Google Drive. And as I told you, the information about the, the synchronization is kept on, uh, on the two sides, so both on uh, Content Server and on Google Drive. So if we upload a document uh, that we can uh, change directly from content, content server, so like this Word document, I can add a new version, so something like blah, blah, blah. And also in, on Drive, we can, uh, for example, for this document, had a new version okay and if we reload this view you will see that we have two conflicts so the first one is because uh, the version on content server is newer than the one on on drive and the second one for the exactly opposite reason so the version of on drive is newer than the version on content server and we can solve these conflicts very easily so directly from here pushing the new version on on drive and bringing the new version on on content server this way so as you have seen this uh, this integration is pretty simple and pretty easy to use and also very effectively and as I told you you also have the possibility to upload new documents directly from here and the new documents will be uploaded directly on content server.